All right, this is a quick video uh, that I want to show you how to uh, use your uh, DVD burner. Um, if you'll take a look, you have the same kind of deck as this, a mini DV deck. And what you do is you plug your fire wire, your small pin, into the DV in out button. That's actually going to be over on the left side of yours in a little slot. That cable comes out and plugs into the side of the DVD recorder that you can see there and it says DVN, DVN there. Okay, now what you want to do to record a video is you take your DVD, I don't care what's on your screen, it doesn't matter, take your DVD and put your DVD in. Now what that's going to do on the screen is it's going to tell you checking for disk or checking the disk. Once it checks the disk, we'll show you what we'll do. Alright, once it checks the disk, it's now going to go under video uh, DVD is what you want to go to. Now on setup, you want to make sure that your record quality there is set to HQ. That's the very top one. And then I'm going to click return to go back. Return to go back. Now you want to choose video to DVD. Now, right there it says DVN that's what you want to select but the first thing you want to do now is take your tape put your tape into your disc but don't into your deck but don't hit anything yet just put your tape in then right over here you're going to press record where, or where it says DVN sorry you're going to press this middle button now copy all videos in the camcorder to DVD press the, this button to start recording that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to press that button to start recording and you'll notice what it's doing now. It's rewinding the tape in the machine. It's actually got control of the machine and it's rewinding the tape. And you can see here on mine, it's got the counter going and it's rewinding the tape. Now, I'm actually recording to the OptiBase at the same time and I've got to set up for tape number six. All right. Now, as soon as this is done, what it's going to do once it's done rewinding, it's going to actually start recording the video. And when it's done recording the video, it will also uh, it will also be done with the disc. Now, and it'll stop the DVD recorder. Now, it's done rewinding. Now, notice here it's formatting the disc. After formatting, recording starts. Now I'm going to come over here because I've got to wait for the recording to actually start so that I can push record over on my OptiBase here once the recording starts. And the recording started. And so now you can see, boom. And now it's recording. Alright. So, we've got all that going. And now what we're going to do is wait till this disc is done and I'm going to show you how to finalize the disc. Okay, now my deposition has stopped, and as you can see, it's still recording. Uh, it would stop automatically uh, by itself at this point uh, after it runs through, but instead I'm going to go ahead and manually stop it. The way to do that is press the stop button. Now you'll notice here it says please wait. You have to do this with every single deposition. Every time you record something on a DVD, you have to go through this step. At the end of the depot, you'll notice it'll say, copy all videos, we're done. So what we're going to do is press the return button. We're going to go to setup. We're going to scroll down using our down arrow button to finalize disk. We're going to push the middle button for enter. Do we want to finalize the disk? Yes. Tell it OK and then it finalizes the disc and we're done. You have to finalize every DVD you do. And then once it finishes and finalizes, it's complete, we hit the eject button. It comes out and now we're ready to go label it through the labeling program. 